Hello, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector right here on YouTube. And you tuned in on a great day today because I have an incredible, incredible statue from Queen Studios. This is the 1-4 scale Heath Ledger Joker from Queen Studios. This is the artist edition. There are two different versions available. This one with the rooted hair and also one with the sculpted hair, and that is the one that I am getting. And you might say, Chris, why do you have this in the first place? And if you watched our live auction show, we actually auctioned this off, and it's all thanks to a fellow collector who sent this in for the auction show. And so I want to thank the original owner, and I also want to thank the new owner that did win on the auction show because they both gave me permission to review this before I send it on to the actual owner and again I am going to be getting the sculpted hair version so it'll be really interesting to kind of compare and contrast the two but I have to tell you whenever I originally saw this in hand I thought mmm doesn't look very good because of the photography we, we've said it here on the channel a lot that the photography usually is not very great especially initial photos so do not panic I didn't panic you should not panic either. But regardless, whenever I started putting this up yesterday, I started putting it up and I couldn't believe how much better it looked in person. I was, my, my jaw hit the floor because it just really, really looks like Heath Ledger. It is really, really well executed. The tailoring itself looks phenomenal. Um, it is a low profile piece and that was kind of my hesitation whenever I was thinking about ordering this one is because I already have two third scale pieces that I really like. One from Queen, one from Prime One Studio and I am also getting the Infinity Studios life size bust. So I said, do I need this particular one? Because it is small, it is quarter scale, but it is also pretty a narrow piece. You know, there's not a lot of giant base to it. There's just, it is what it is. But what you see here is really quite phenomenal. It is really quite stunning. So I am of course going to review this for you guys, but I'm also going to show it next to other pieces in my collection to give you an idea of the size of it, if it's something that you should get or not. The other big question is, is it worth the cost? Now, this one retails for $1,300 plus. I think after these reviews, it's only going to go up in value because in person it looks phenomenal. This of course is more expensive because it does have that rooted hair on top. And the other is sculpted, it's 600 some dollars ish in there. And so it's a pretty big price difference. Is it worth it for the realistic hair? That is always going to be subjective. So I am gonna give my thoughts and opinions on that today. Um, I can't wait to review this for you guys. Can't wait to give you measurements and everything else in between. And again, I want to thank those two collectors for letting me uh, review this for you guys. I can't wait to do that. But before we do that, if you are new here, please make sure you hit the red subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, thank you guys so very much. Without further ado, let's review this guy right here, Heath Ledger Joker. Come on. All right, guys, so here we go. The moment of truth has arrived, and bingo. There is the Joker quarter scale Queen Studios and of course this right here is the main event. Uh, when you're paying for the artist edition you're paying $1300 plus. Uh, I think it's only going to climb uh, I think once people see these reviews and see how good it is in person. Um, so basically you're paying for the rooted hair. That is what you're paying for. Um, this is one of those pieces guys where it doesn't look as good in photos. It doesn't look as good on video. So if you think it looks good here on camera you're gonna be blown away by it in person okay I, I was absolutely shocked because uh, I was just like you guys I saw some initial photos I'm like mm, doesn't look very good I'm here to tell you it's really quite awesome so we're gonna start with the base and work our way up um, very simplistic base very nice very low profile you can see the size of my hand compared to it uh, it's not a very big base it's not gonna take up a lot of room but it is again quarter scale you notice some purple there's a purple hue to it which is really nice in the front you have the Dark Knight emblem now you guys, you guys are gonna notice some scratches so like I said this is not mine there is a plastic sheet on it uh, that pulls off I'm not gonna do that because it's not my statue so I'm gonna let the owner do that um, but I just I just wanted to point that out that it's not scratched um, Really nice black base. Go around the side, it's kind of a purplish silver. And then of course you have windows here on the side. So it's a very nice stylized base. I actually prefer this one over the uh, third scale that I have. Um, it's got that great plating here. Um, you're also gonna notice some weathering uh, throughout. So it gives it kind of a little bit of a grimy 
Um, it's, it looks very metallic. It's very, very good. I mean, it's a flat, but it's, it's just really realistic looking to me. I'm really impressed, really impressed. So again, that's what it looks like. Then as we move up, you're going to see the shoes are really nicely sculpted. Uh, they did a really nice job there. And then of course you have the socks. I feel like the colors on these socks are very screen accurate. I think they did a nice job of capturing that for sure. Uh, the tailoring overall is nice. Of course, you know, maybe it needs a little bit of steaming out, uh, but uh, this again is right out of the box. But I'm really impressed with the overall tailoring. I feel like all the colors look really good. I feel like uh, the fabric they chose is really well executed. Uh, it's got that plush exactly like it was in the movie. Um, there's not a lot of weathering on the, the edges. There, there, are, there is more weathering as you go up. Uh, you can see maybe a little bit of dark uh, kind of, you know, kind of a wash along the edges, which is, again, very screen, screen accurate, which I, I am impressed with. Uh, obviously, you have the different buttons, which is nice. Very, very cool. Um, the vest looks good. Obviously, you have the missing button, just like the movie. Uh, in the actual movie, he had some different, you know, movie, uh, mo you know, different buttons. But um, I feel like it still looks really good. This this material right here is really nice. It's that really thin suit, just like he wore in the movie. Very very thin material. Uh, I feel like the tie is pretty darn close to screen accurate. I feel like the the print is really good. Uh, we talked about it on Rogues Gallery um, during our auction show that. Sometimes this is a little bit blue, sometimes it's a little bit purple, depending on the, the fabric maker, but I feel like it's accurate. I feel like it's at least the right size, um, which is sometimes difficult for some companies to get. Um, but overall, it looks great. Um, you have all of the grenades, uh, which you can you know leave in there. Obviously, with the pose, most people are going to show off the grenades. This particular pose has him with a string that goes up to his hand. Uh, this is keyed in. So this is, uh, you know, but the, the ring just simply fits over his thumb. You, know, you can take it off or put it back on um, really quite simply. So sorry, I just dropped it. Put it right back on there. Um, but it looks really well sculpted. Uh, I feel like the, uh, the gloves are accurate. And again, you can see a little bit of his, of his skin there. This right here, you just bunch up and you just push it into his hand. So again, this is a thin enough material. What I was worried about is the weight of the jacket. Like, would he be able to grip it? And he grips it with no problem. You just have to kind of stuff it in there a little bit. Again, you can really see the detail on the plushness of that coat. Uh, very, very screen accurate to me. I'm very impressed. I don't have him on a turntable. You know, he's very skinny, you know, very low profile. And it really captures that moment really well, in my opinion, from the film. Very simplistic pose. I mean, it's it's a museum pose, sort of, but it's definitely so iconic from that moment. Here's my card. Let's not blow this out of proportion. You know, you could just feel him saying that. Now, the actual sculpt itself, I wish I could... Gosh, I wish the camera would... And for whatever reason, it feels like every Heath Ledger statue is like this, where the paint sometimes looks washed out on camera. Whereas in person, it looks really good. Um, there's a shininess to his eyes. And I'm sure the camera won't pick that up either. But I swear, when I was doing the, uh, the auction show, I, it just, I, I kept looking up at him and it felt like he was breathing. It just it looked like he could leap off the page here. It just looks so good. Um, incredibly good portrait. I always look at the portraits from the side. That's Heath Ledger. This right here. That's Heath Ledger. This right here, that's Heath Ledger. Very rarely do you get a company where I think that every angle looks good, that every angle looks accurate. Even like the $4,000 bust that I've purchased from Infinity, it doesn't look like him from every angle. It's not perfect. I feel like this is, is the best Heath Ledger sculpt. Uh, Prime Ones, I think, is really, really good as well. But at this scale, this is this is, is by far the best quarter scale Joker, Heath Ledger Joker ever done. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick my point in there, and uh, that's that's what I'm sticking with. This right here is the artist edition. Again, you have the the real hand punched hair. I feel like they did a really nice job with this. Um, this is not res. This is not silicone. This is resin. This is a polystone. So they use kind of like a wig technique, I believe. So it's not actually punched into the into the uh, resin, but it looks really good. 
I think they captured the colors really nice. That's something that's difficult. You have the browns of his you know, natural color transitioning into the green, which very screen accurate. I feel like they got the color right. Just looks good. Uh, this is right out of the box, so I haven't really played with it much. I did kind of bring these strands forward a little bit on the side. Um, so, you know, if you have a lot of time and patience, I think you're going to do just fine with this one and get it to look exactly like you want it to. Uh, maybe the only negative is, is this, this makeup, um, again, just doesn't appear as, as good on camera. That's, that's the biggest downfall. But I, I wish I could really stress to you how, how realistic he looks in person. One thing I do like is that, you know, a lot of times you just see that, that black smear from when he was arrested uh, with, the, with the fight or with the chase scene. Um, you don't have that here. So you have a, a much more accurate paint for this particular scene. You know, I don't know if it's 100%, but... Come on, hit me. I mean, you could just, he could just feel him saying all these lines. He is tiny. I am going to show you him next to uh, the third scale. Will he match up to other quarter scales? We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you guys so you can see. But when it comes to the portrait and the money you're paying, is this one better than the, the uh, sculpted hair? Time will tell. That is the one that I purchased. Um, I think you just have to make a choice. But I think that this one it actually is sold out, and that's that's the biggest problem, is that this one is going to be very very difficult to find, um, especially because once these reviews get out and people see how good it really is, you're going to say, hey, you know what? I should have I should have bit the bullet. I should have paid the money. Um, but I also think you're going to be really happy with the rooted hair or the sculpted hair because I think it looks very realistic, um, just like Prime One did with theirs. They did a really nice job with their sculpted. Um, and we'll, time will tell. We'll, time, we'll see. It. And at the fact that this is a smaller piece, the fact that it is quarter scale, I think that you're going to be able to uh, you know, not really tell that much of a difference because it's, it is tinier. If it was bigger, you would definitely notice. And you would probably definitely want rooted hair. Kind of like if you had sculpted hair on the, uh, the life-size bust. But there he is right there. It's just really incredible. The tailoring, again, looks fantastic. Make sure I just get in all the detail for you. The grenades are all really heavy and well done. You have all of that great detail on the inside. Again, very screen accurate. That beautiful kind of that auburn orange inside, that shiny material. All of it looks screen accurate to me. I think that they did a phenomenal job here at quarter scale. So let me zoom back here again, give you a whole pan of what he looks like close up. And now let me go ahead and show you some examples of him next to other things in my collection. Oh, before we do that, actually, I forgot to show you the swap out. So here you have him holding the card. Here's my card. You can pose it a couple different ways if you want, but just put the playing card in. So that's the kind of the look you get. I think if you're going to do something, I think you might as well have the grenades. I think it just looks better overall. But, oh, sorry, he's trying to focus on that joker back there. Let me... Uh, Make sure I get that in focus for you guys. There's the card. Screen accurate. So that just gives you an idea of the other swap out. That's the only other swap out. But if it was me, I think you got to do the grenade hand. I just think it looks better. But at least you have that option if you want it. Okay, now let me show you him side by side with some of the other... Uh, statues in my collection. So the question I asked is how does this compare to other quarter scales? Obviously this is the OG Joker by Sideshow and this is the Heath Ledger by Clean Studios. Obviously the, the bases are quite a bit different profile wise as you can see. Um, kind of have them even side by side um, but whenever it comes to the body obviously it does show that this is just a little smaller. It's not bad under scale I don't feel. Um, and maybe sometimes sideshows things are a little overscaled. I, I don't know. It's really hard to say whenever it comes to quarter scale movie pieces. I don't collect a lot of the quarter scale movie stuff. Um, so it really just depends on what you guys think. Is it too small? Is it just right? I think you're going to be really happy with him in your collection, but I don't know if he matches up very well necessarily with, you know, comic book pieces, let's say. Um, but if you 
are a collector in general of movie pieces, I think this one will definitely stand out on its own. I don't think you need a lot of other characters around it, but I did want to show you that, uh, just the difference in quarter scale. I'm also going to show it next to um, the third scale. Uh, big, big difference with that, but I did want to, uh, to show that to you just so you had that in your uh, you know, visual memory banks here in case you're worried about size. But So those are two together. Let's uh, move on to the third scale. Okay, guys, so here I have my three jokers here. I've got, the, of course, the Prime One third scale head sculpt right there we've got the queen studios quarter scale head sculpt and then of course the head sculpt sorry for the shadows in here guys um, the queen studios third scale so here is the third scale right next to the quarter scale joker to give you an idea of the size difference there how those look together and then how that looks compared to the prime one um, the Prime One piece, you guys know how much I love it. I actually, I think that the coat on the Queen Studios, the color, you guys can see the color difference. I feel like the coat is actually more accurate on this one compared to the Prime One. Uh, just to give my honest opinion on that, I do really still love this portrait. I love everything about it. But you can see the difference in size. Again, third scale versus quarter. So if you, I just don't know if this looks good is what I'm saying. Like if you're a third scale collector, I don't know if this is going to match up very well um, compared to the other scales just because he is, he does feel tinier. Um, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, it's a phenomenal piece regardless. So if you love it, obviously this is the jail cell scene. Here's my card scene. Let's not blow this out of proportion. And this is kind of a hybrid of all of the above, which is uh, kind of what I like about the Prime One as well. Um, so much great detail and then obviously we have the uh, the bust here as well so got a lot of joker in this corner but uh, I just want to show them side by side so you guys can again make your own decision about what you think but I always think it's cool to be able to see some of this side by side I wanted to show you the quote-unquote art box uh, basically it came in a shipper and then it came with you know outside kind of protective packaging this is extremely nice like it's like a it's almost like a wood box like I know it's not wood but it's like s extremely strong it's got embossed um, Dark Knight trilogy logo and then it opens up again I just want you to see how thick it is like it's a really thick heavy-duty material and then you can open it from here and you know it's not real pretty inside because that's where he was but it's got the Queen Studio straps but I just thought this was so nice like it is really really heavy-duty and it's just black elegant simple but it's really again i want to, it's really a solid solid protective box which is really nice so i just want to show that to you because i know some of you might have wanted to see that since i didn't do a, a, a traditional unboxing but still really cool as always it's time to do some measurements and here we go now this is again not a very big piece you're not going to need a lot of space for them in your collection in terms of height, he is a little over 21 inches. I'm looking at it, I'm gonna say about 21 and a half, give or take, depending on how high you pose the hair. Not very tall. In terms of width, we are looking at nine inches wide. When we're talking about depth, let's look at this. We're looking at seven and a half inches deep. This is not going to take up very much room in your collection for sure, but it is 100% going to fulfill that quota of having a Heath Ledger Joker in your collection. I do stand by the fact that this is, at least in my opinion, the best quarter scale Heath Ledger Joker on the market. I think it's very, very well done, very, very well executed. I mean, what's to say? It looks phenomenal. Okay guys, there you have it. An incredible look at the quarter scale Joker from Queen Studios. What do you think about this one? I am in awe by it. I think it looks phenomenal if you are a Heath Ledger Joker fan, a Dark Knight fan, a Joker fan in general. This is a no-brainer piece to add to your collection. Whether you get the artist edition, whether you get the regular edition, I think you're going to be really happy because clearly everything is going to be the same on both versions except for that head sculpt. But I feel like the head sculpt itself, the head is going to be the same, but the hair, of course, is going to be different. But I'm curious as to what you think after seeing this uh, video. I cannot stress it enough that I'm looking at it on camera. I'm looking at it in photos, even the photos that I took. It just doesn't do it justice. It looks so much better in person 
the lightness is top notch. I feel like it is a 9.8 out of 10. Very, very good. I feel like the sculpt is very good. The tailoring is very good. Obviously, you know, it's a little bit wrinkled out of the box, but that's something that you can fix. The base is low profile. It's not gonna take up a lot of room in your collection and it will perfectly represent Heath Ledger. And you guys know how much I love Heath Ledger. He is my favorite uh, version of the Joker of all time. Cannot be replicated, cannot be replaced. Just very, very awesome. So why so serious? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one. I am blown away. Awesome, awesome piece. Again, I wanna thank the collectors that let me review this and I'm gonna be sending it on to, uh, tomorrow uh, so they get their brand new statue here. It's awesome and I can't wait to see this one in their collection. Congratulations to our winner, that was awesome. And again, thanks to our original seller, which was just phenomenal to be able to send it here uh, for the channel review, absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Uh, thanks for Queen Studios for putting out amazing products like this. It's so awesome to see. Um, and thank you guys just so very much for taking time out of your day to watch this content. Love you guys all. Thank you so very much. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That does help with the YouTube algorithm. Helps other collectors just like you find content just like this. And if you want to take it one step further, consider hitting the join button down below to become a Brotherhood of the Bat member. You get perks and everything else in between. Also our Batman shirts down below, BSC. It helps support the channel, guys. Thank you so very much. Love this thing. It is awesome. Trust me, it is awesome. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you soon in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.